This is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. And today is July 14th, 2019. And topic of discussion for today is investing in personal finance. Open discussion. Okay, we've done a few of these now. So um, I'll leave the intro to that and we'll wait until people start rolling in. And we've changed the setting a little bit. I'm not at the you know, library sort of bookcase area where we have a whole bunch of books um, sort of set us up in the sunroom right now because finally we're getting sort of into the summer mode. Uh, it's getting warmer. The sun's coming out. We've had a lot of rain in the west coast of uh, Canada for the last couple of weeks, two to three weeks, really. We had a little bit of summer spell in I guess it was early June or something. And then as soon as summer kicked in, we had a couple of nice days. It was getting warmer and then whew, started getting colder. Uh, so last couple of days, the temperature is kicking up. The cold wind is gone. So it's nice. The plants are loving it. The plants are loving it. Okay. Um, and that's it, basically. Let me show you uh, what I got as uh, beverages, refreshments. Zare, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. X. How's life? I got my trusted tea. And today I got, uh, I've started drinking matchas for the last uh, couple of weeks. It's like green tea with a whole bunch of other stuff and a little bit of uh, coconut oil and honey. Fantastic. Wow. So addictive. So addictive. So addictive. It's like liquid candy. <laughs> it's like liquid candy. And Twitching Jason, how are you doing? It's been at least a week. Good afternoon, Chicho. Glad I caught the stream. Awesome. Glad to have you, man. Glad to have you, man. And I got some tahini as well. But uh, I need the matcha, like super sweet. A truce, how are you doing? Doing well, brother. Thank you very much. My first day off in weeks. Wow, yeah, you haven't been around for a while. Happy day off, by the way. Hopefully you're getting a few in a row if it's your first day off in a week. Seriously, this thing is amazing. <coughs> So good, so good, so good, delicious. Uh, so as before, we'll you know we can kick into discussion. If you guys want to talk about anything right away, um, if you want to chill for a while, we can talk about personal finance uh, and uh, investing and stuff. Uh, but again, it's an open discussion. We can deviate from that. Let me pop out the chat as well. Where is our pop out? Pop out chat. Boink. And our chat's popped. Okay, awesome. Hopefully I didn't lose uh, any comments. No, I don't think so. Cool. Love the eBay comic comic video, man. So many infinite comments, so many infinite comments. Really, at the time when it came out, for me, uh, I'll be buying for sure. I, I hope you get them at a good price, brother. Uh, for me, uh, what happened with Infinity Gauntlet was basically when it came out, there was a, f there was a, f a fair bit of hype about it. But when it hit the scene, because people weren't following the Silver Surfer too much, at the time I really liked the Silver Surfer. So I was really excited for the Infinity Gauntlet because the Infinity Gauntlet was a crossover that came through through the Silver Surfer, right? And because a lot of people weren't reading the Silver Surfer, they there was hype associated with it but it wasn't hype like a spider-man crossover or x-man crossover or whatever it was so when i read it like when i read silver surfer 50 and i thought oh man i was so hyped for it and then infinity gauntlet came out and i read that i was like wow blew me away raw limbs jim star wow fantastic and then i went to the store and there was a lot of copies around right like it wasn't selling out right away and i started buying a few copies just because I loved it. If I love something, I mentioned this before, I just buy a few copies, right? 
I've got some comics that they're, you know, considered to be fluff. I still love them. I have a few copies, right? And then what I did was try to figure out when Thanos came to be and how the story arc was following. So I went back to the Silver Surfer comics I had and was tracking them down. So I ended up going back and getting my hands on a couple of Silver Surfer's 34 and 44 and I forget 45 and stuff like this. And obviously Silver Surfer 50 as well, right? Just finished da Batman Dam number one. Have you read it yet? Now relaxing with uh, chamomile tea. Nice. I'll read two and three tonight. I actually haven't read it yet. I picked up issue number one and I was going to list uh, Batman Damned uh, on eBay today, but I got really busy and, uh, because of uh, what happened with Unity, uh, Unity for Assange's, Unity for J Twitter account, Unity for Julian Assange's account on Twitter. I decided to shoot the uh, black current video and talk about a little bit of a censorship and i was editing that and shot that the day before and edited that and i loaded it up this morning right so i wanted to get that done so i'm a little right away i'm already behind loading onto ebay stuff i haven't read it but i when batman dan came out i found out about batman's junk <laughs> i went to the comic book store and i grabbed the uh, like four or five copies for myself right and the two i'm going to be listing are two of those copies and i have flipped through it to take a look at the images and i found it amazing right when i read i looked at the images i was like wow crazy cool right so i brought them home and bag them board and put them away and flipped through it looked at it again i didn't get a chance to read it with those types of stuff i in general i like to wait until i got one two three to read them right so, and then I put it away, right? And then I checked out some forums and people were like, oh, Batman's junk is strong, blah, 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 blah. And then some people were like, oh man, they, uh, they didn't endow him well enough and stuff like this. I was like, dude, what are you guys talking about? Batman's junk is throwing a shadow. <laughs> like, I, I've heard it's supposed to be good. And Brian Azzarello, I love Brian Azzarello's writing. Brian Azzarello, I got turned on to through Hellblazer back in the day, right, in the 90s. And I really like Brian Azzarello's work on Hellblazer. And I've read other stuff uh, with Brian as well. And I uh, really like his work, especially the, uh, the trade that he put back, Joker. I still haven't read uh, uh, Oh, man, I forget the name. Superman's arch enemy, <laughs> the multi billionaire. No, oh, what that could have slipped my mind. I still haven't read that one, but Joker was amazing. House looks hella, hella good, Chicho. Nice, thanks, thanks, Void. We've been doing a lot of house cleaning, a lot of house cleaning. We're late with our spring cleaning because the weather was a little chilly. As soon as it got warmer, we started going crazy. We're giving the uh, our crystals, minerals, uh, and rocks all wash right now. So I'll show you pics of those later. What's your eBay page called? It's uh, Chicho. So here, let me grab it. I should copy it. There's don't boink. Let me go to my page. Um, here we go. Here, I'll just link it up to the main page and then you can just scroll down on items for sale I got there right boink oh where is it boink boink okay that's the main chi shape account uh Zara. yeah that was a surprise I have two copies apparently it's only in the first printing they're not gonna they're they're not gonna reprint the original right the only thing they're gonna reprint is the edited version of the images so they're gonna edit those Batman's junk out of the out of the pages right so I think they'll probably release it as collected but it will be the edited version Arkansas how are you doing hey Chicho 
I, I just got the notification of you coming online as I got home from work. Nice. Excited to load my Vave Hangout. Awesome, brother. You've been enjoying that a lot. Remo. Reno Mike, how are you doing? I'm a huge fan of uh, comic book films and TV shows, but I've never gotten around to reading comics much, unfortunately, but I'm fascinated by the culture around it. Lex Luthor, yeah. I couldn't believe Lex Luthor slipped my mind. Thanks, Twitching Jason. Thank you. And thank you, Atrus. Okay. And you know what, um, Twitching Jason? There's only a handful of comics, maybe less than a handful of comics, that are better than the comic books. Okay. There are a handful of comics which do the comic books justice. Okay. The rest of the comic book films, the story that they took from the comic books, the comic books blow away the movies. I highly recommend reading comic books. They're brilliant. Silva, how are you doing? How's it going, good sir? Doing good, doing good. Did you see an influx of one of your older ASMR title videos? You were on the first page in the UK after searching in. Oh no, I didn't uh, notice. I wonder if it was, uh, maybe it was the most recent one that I uploaded um, this morning. No, this was yesterday. I don't know. Um, some videos, they it's, it's weird. Some of the videos I start, they go through phases. All of a sudden they start getting lots of videos. Blah, 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 and then whoop, come down again and stabilize. And whoop, whoop, whoop. And then sometimes the videos get a lot of views and they hang there for a long time, which is super cool. Which video was it, by the way, Silva? There's a few that go through that routine. It's fun. It's fun. Hey, Chicho, joined the Discord a few days ago and now la I'm finally made it to a live stream. Awesome. Much love from Willowdale in Toronto. Willowdale. Nice. Same neighborhood rushes from oh no way awesome so it's a suburb of uh, to right willowdale doesn't rush have a song that don't they use a willowdale in the lyrics i can't remember it sounds familiar maybe that's because i lived in toronto for a couple of summers and i lived in southern ontario uh for a while and trekked around ontario a lot nikki how are you doing hey man nice to catch you live greetings to all greetings greetings He's the ASMR Don Corleone. <laughs> I don't know. On on the video I uploaded uh, today with the uh, with uh, black currents and talking about censorship, uh, North York area. Okay, cool. I lived in Markham um, one summer, and I lived downtown core Toronto one summer for four months when I was doing co-op terms in university and stuff. Downtown Core, T.O., Blair and Sherborne, York? I can't remember. And for youth, a uh, young adult living there, it was a fun time, man. It was a dried mint jarring when I leave. Ah, cool, cool. That one's actually getting a fair bit of views in general right now because it's a good video, <laughs> it's fun, it's full-blown ASMR, uh, a little bit of whispering and stuff, so that's cool, that's crazy, on the front page of UK YouTube, that's, uh, I don't, I think that's my, that might be my first front page YouTube video ever, which is super cool, I watch her old Bye Bye Beard video too, and <laughs> it was great fun watching, <laughs> nice, that one was fantastic, man, I remember cutting that up. I remember that day perfectly. That was just a whim that I did it. I was like, I was doing some stuff and I can't remember what it was. I was just looking in the mirror and I was, I was like, I got time and it was sunny and it was in a very, I felt lighthearted. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set up the camcorder and just shave this thing off. <laughs> Cut it to music and load it up. It was fun. Lima, how are you doing? Ah, I was raised just north of Markham and Richmond Hills. Ah, Richmond Hills. Nice. Back when it was 
mostly farmland crazy crazy it's toronto man it went through crazy boom good to know i may start with the uh, walking walking dead the comic books better than the tv show okay that's one okay i'm a huge fan of the show and i've followed a few of the storylines from the comics through videos on youtube and stuff okay walking dead give it a start reading it give it a little bit of time by issue number five the cliffhangers on the walking dead are like oh, what and you can't put it down i read the first 68 issues in the first week okay vote democrat thanks for that <laughs> thanks for the cheers brother oh funny oh funny uh, that video popped off too uh, i was so it, it was so strange because i've only ever seen you with a beard so i was like who is this? <laughs> baby face and the world man the community the people treat you differently when you have facial hair than when you don't have facial hair in my part of the world anyway I'm, I'm pretty sure every part of the world in part of parts of the world where uh, facial hair is dominant if you don't have facial hair then they'll treat you differently than you do right so it's just what people are used to back then not too many people were growing beards man I had uh, I had a friend that was uh, heavy into social media and just doing online stuff and initially we was doing the math videos uh, the language of mathematics videos and stuff he um, he you know we we're talking to party and stuff he goes oh Chicho I love what you're doing man like what you're doing is very unique fantastic it's well needed you got a niche you got a niche mark and all this jazz right he goes but I got one thing to say to you right and I thought he was gonna mention the sound because I was just learning stuff and I didn't have next you know sounding recording system so the sounds rough on the you know the early language of mathematics uh, videos uh, but he turned to me and says you gotta shave the beard <laughs> I was like dude I'm not gonna shave the beard he goes if you shave the beard you're gonna get more hits because the algorithms are set up that way the platforms you know are promoting no facial hair it's just more no facial hair you get more exposure right I was like dude I do what I love uh, I am who I am and I'm not gonna shave to get more hits right because I'm in it for a long haul I'm not looking for 15 minutes of fame and in my mind at some point facial hair comes back again and thanks to all the propaganda and fear mongering from politics and economics and all that jazz all, all the lies coming through the corporate propaganda machines it you know people as a backlash start growing more facial hair now the facial hair videos are becoming <laughs> more popular right same on this side of Canada too I have never gotten ID'd with a card but always always when I'm baby faced it takes 20 years off my yeah arcana side and you're in the states arcana side right i'll tell you something about facial hair let me read a couple comments as well moving house soon and i noticed my neighbor neighbor had some football goal posts in the back garden and i'm so excited nice i've always wanted to be that miserable neighbor that pops the football when it flies into the garden oh no you're not gonna pop it are you unless it hits you then or does damage or happens every time then you gotta sort of have a little chat with them and go buddy right build a higher fence i guess hi i heard compound interest and investing in mutual funds and s p 500 are the most worthwhile investments for the average person perps um compound interest for sure is something you want to get into uh but mutual funds and sap s p 500 s p 500 is just a metric of the first top 500 i believe anyway i've looked at this a long time 500 companies on uh you know they track down on the u.s stock market on wall street and whatnot right uh so that's just a metric that you can buy into and it just does what it does right personally i wouldn't be investing in the in Wall Street 
at the moment right uh, as far as mutual funds go you have to look into what they're investing in so mutual funds they'll say oh this is they, they'll give it a name right that's sort of an umbrella that is supposed to represent the type of uh, companies stocks type of investments they're invested in right they have the money parked in right so they could call it yeah know, pick any any genre any any system right but you have to look into which stocks they're holding and usually they list the first 10 and then you have to dig in ask them get a list and stuff like that so mutual funds are different you have to really dig in to find out if you really want to be invested with these people and in those companies okay so there's a lot of research you need to be done and past performance does not necessarily indicate future performance okay respect for sticking up uh, for facial hair really for sure Nikki man I man you'd be amazed uh, the type of flack I've had to deal with because of facial hair it's unbelievable right unbelievable and from every walk of life not necessarily in my area also from uh, areas where people have migrated to here where the majority of people from the area that they're in go grow facial hair and they may be religious they may be a certain type and when they come here they're they have a they don't like facial hair right they have an allergic reaction to it so whenever they see my facial hair they're like oh I'm like what are you guys doing right I'm in Halifax Nova Scotia nice Halifax is a beautiful city I can side up in there Halifax I really like the East Coast of Canada if it wasn't for the winters man Martin how are you doing or explain what football haha <laughs> exactly it's Martin or explain what football oh yeah when fall, fall, fall falls in what, what football man funny I'm 21 I look even younger than I think uh, younger than than that I think and I've never been carded in Canada it may just be the spots I've been to and uh, Twitch and Jason uh, Canada is 19 right US is 21 crazy crazy maybe I'm just aging bad I stopped getting ID at 17 I, I liked it I like not being ID I'm having streaming issues are you let me check uh, are we still streaming yeah hopefully it didn't cut off uh, Martin I figured Canada was just less strict than the US when it comes to carding people hello again hello Surua how are you doing sticks Arminen uh, stack up on gold silver or something else easier to hide than money um not as liquid as hunt money and you don't necessarily want to hold on and by the way uh, uh, sticks are mana. gold and silver are money I think you want you want to say just using terminology I have trouble going uh, stack up on gold and silver or something else easier to hide than currency because money is anything that you can store value and you can use as trade and stuff like this there's like five categories six categories of things right so gold and silver are money currency is not money currency depreciates tr dramatically over time right so you can hold different types of assets as well it doesn't necessarily has to be hard assets it doesn't necessarily has to be gold and silver gold and silver is pretty good to have a certain percentage of is gold undervalued 100% is silver undervalued 100% but the market is rigged where they're selling short naked short gold whatever right so there's multi layers of derivatives in there so it's suppressed at some point it's gonna pop okay I'm personally incredibly interested in Bitcoin right now and other cryptos did anybody catch Trump tweeting about Bitcoin the other day yeah yeah we caught it twitching Jason uh, it did help that I knew the guy working on the shop in the shop didn't care about my age I just bought a, a lot so he was happy haha <laughs> nice hey Chicho hello Starsky how are you doing 
I'll still never forget his face when my mother walked into the store at the same time as I was <laughs> putting a 24 pack of lager on the counter. That was a picture of that. I'll forever laugh until <laughs> the day I die. I'm laughing at it right now. I can just visualize it. The guy's going, <gasps> right? After, did your mom know you were drinking and buying? I hope so, man. I hope so. I hope so. I've heard that if uh, you do want to get into metal, silver is better because uh, if need be, you can, can, can conventionally trade or exchange it with people for goods, like a silver coin uh, you could use for some common exchange. But gold is so valuable that you can't easily exchange it. Uh, so I think you can exchange gold easily, but first of all, you one of the problems with gold and silver is you have to uh, be able to uh, decide what the purity of it is. With gold, a lot of people when they you know when they wear gold chains and in different parts of the world, they invest in gold. That's their savings, right? You know, if you if you see people with a if it's gold, you know, big gold chain, right, with a lot of hoops in it and stuff like this. If you really need to buy something, what you could do is cut one of those things, go to a jeweler, get them to cut it and or as many as you need to buy something right and reattach the chain you can wear it you're you're walking bank and then you can use that to do trade right um, one of the things gold is uh, silver could be better is because silver has domestic use right it has uses more uses than gold she knew yeah she was angry but it's basically young English culture. Yeah, Canada is the same. Drinking is crazy heavy. I'm pretty sure US, Europe was insane. Almost everyone used to buy and head down uh, the woods on Friday with friends. Yeah, drinking in the mad dough, right? We all used to do it. And I guess Canada is very much British culture as well. So, uh, bop. oh yes, I was doing that in the 80s. 80s too, same year, Martin. Oh metal drinking in the woods that you know what to a certain degree my love of nature in a big way came through that right tank how are you doing hi again chicho looking quite hot where you are enjoying summer yes i pulled out the tank top yeah the tank top is out it's tank top season buff monster hey chicho will you do a liqueur video anytime soon uh in this summer yes in the next couple of months let's say a couple of months okay um i'm there's so much stuff that i have lined up to do but liqueur videos is one of them if you haven't seen a liqueur buff monster if you haven't seen a liqueur video pop up by mid august send me a reminder and we'll do one i do have to go through my liqueur cabinet and consolidate some liqueurs and free up some of the jars as as well as um, make new types of liqueur two of the liqueurs that i want to make is um, pa um, pineapple and blood orange right um the blood orange isn't i haven't seen any blood orange around as soon as i see the blood orange in the stores and that's when we might start doing the liqueur video okay but remind me by mid-august if it's not out let's say end of july no mid-august because we're halfway through july mid-august if it's not out send me a reminder we do okay i remember secretly making my own sandwiches so my parents still gave me a dinner money nice i then used the dinner money to buy packs of cigarettes oh no to resell to smokers at school for 50p each it's still the best business i ever had i missed it nice brother that's a good way i did that uh, with firecrackers i was in grade eight i would go to chinatown right build up to halloween i'd go to chinatown and i go to the chinese stores and <laughs> ask them if they had firecrackers and little fireworks and stuff like this and they didn't care so i bought a whole bunch and i would go to the school during halloween time for a month i was making mint money I would sell like little little poppers for like 10 cents a pop and i was buying like 50 of them for 50 or 100 of them for 50 cents 
and it was selling each one for like 10 cents. So it was, the return on investment was huge, right? Great, okay, awesome. That'd be great when you do uh, for the liqueur videos, uh, Buff Monster. I live in North Sweden. We took the boat to Denmark and then bought alcohol legal age in Denmark was 16 at the time wow that's crazy that's young pineapple sounds incredible would coconut pulp uh, work with making uh, liqueur I think coconut when you open up fresh coconut it's wet uh, I think so I haven't tried it uh, Twitch and Jason if you do try it uh, post a picture on you know what it would taste amazing <laughs> i'm just thinking about it uh, if you do try it uh, post a picture on our discord page and just let us know that it tasted amazing and i'll hop on it the reason i want to make blood orange and uh, and uh, pineapple is because people posted pictures on discord and it was uh, uh, it looked amazing and they said it tasted phenomenal right I've been trying to make uh, chocolate brownies recently, but I can't get that fudgy effect. They keep coming out like cakes and it's driving me insane. Oh wow, I've never tried uh, chocolate brownies. Playing with cooking with chocolate or baking with chocolate is, is hard. I've tried it before with chocolate and it's messy. And if you don't do it right, oh man, it just doesn't turn out good. I wanted to I tried to get into crypto but when the exchange sites asked for my SN number social security number I got scared and gave up yeah uh, Surua um, as you know I've cryptos hit my specifically Bitcoin hit my radar back in 2010 2011 right 2010 really and I had my personal computer it was pretty heavy duty computer mining at the time too and stuff like this uh, played around with it a little bit right R not recently but but last year last year you, as soon as Bitcoin went up to 19 20,000 and came down and was hovering and I for my and I stated this during the live streams and stuff I said my target was around 2600 and someone came up and said it was like 3300 it was it was a good time to buy and I said you know what it's not bad right uh, and I at that time I looked into opening up account too but that whole process of opening an account with an exchange to be able to buy and sell cryptos that eliminates the purpose of cryptos right so for me cryptos are not I'm not really interested in buying and selling cryptos into fiat and out of fiat right because as soon as you exchange that node, you go through that node of switching from crypto to any type of fiat, boop, there's a zap, there's a track it, track record of it, right? There's no more anonymity, okay? So for me, if I'm gonna use cryptos, you use cryptos to either buy hard assets directly from individuals, or you use cryptos to buy services directly from individuals right and in general if you have cryptos you should be keeping those off the exchanges anyway you shouldn't be holding your cryptos on exchanges you should have hard on usb sticks and stuff like this and there's stuff like that being sold right so for me the whole hype and the whole purpose of cryptos has deteriorated drastically it doesn't mean that it's obsolete it is still legit right but I'm not interested in trading cryptos. You can do that. I mean, it's, it's okay to do. If I had a, a ridiculous amount of funds, I would probably set it up and do it, right? But uh, it's not the thing, it's not where I wanna be personally. Sweet, I may give it a shot. The pomegranate, oh, the coconut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Let us know, man, if it works out. What does Chicho or Chad know about working abroad? I'm in my early 20s and work, uh, work wouldn't like to give it a shot, but no idea where to even start. So think you're in the US, right? 
for Americans is a lot different because if you're an American, you still have to file your taxes in the United States every year, right? The U.S. Uh, the IRS is nasty. They're extortion machines, right? Uh, so, it, and it depends what you want to get into. Yeah, Coinbase restricts certain account features unless you provide certain person personally identifiable information, which seems a bit counterproductive. One hundred percent touching, Jason. Kraken uh, was another one I tried uh, as Coinbase. So instead, I've started doing PI and electro. Electron noom because they're idiot proof uh, though I think they're pretty worthless okay I haven't tried those out uh, the 40 large sterilized jars jars I ordered last week should arrive on Thursday ready to make raspberry 40 <laughs> last raspberry gin I'll post a picture in the discord on oh, nice on the all in my dark cupboard before they're ready to sit for four weeks 40 jar dude silva uh, i hope you're sharing that stuff i think you're the one that came out and said before you were making like 40 liters 20 liters or something of that stuff that's a lot of alcohol i read a broomberg article recently that i mentioned it's a fantastic way for people to boost their salaries early on uh, that's as much as i personally know about the matter though oh to travel no i'm in the uk thinking of working in the US Canada Australia uh, good to know okay cool yeah if you I know a lot of people that have gone overseas to work and generate money and depending on where they're coming from and where they're going like in Vancouver there's people that come to Vancouver work because they want to you know they want to feel like what it's like to live in Vancouver and they try to make money if you're coming from abroad and making you know average money right even if it's better good money relative to where you were living once you come to Vancouver that's not going to carry you carry you too far you're not going to be making it mental unless you got a very unique type of job that is totally sought after because the cost of living in Vancouver is insane so for sure if you're thinking about going living somewhere else look into the cost of cost of living in that region in that city really important really important and your tax system I think UK you're clear I think if you live abroad more than a year it's like Canada you just file taxes wherever you're living oh think it's a lot different for you guys here in England all I had to do was sign a few forms pay a small fee and went and worked in Magaluf for a whole summer it's great fun if you can get your hands on something like that cool I don't know where Megalof is listen it definitely depends what work you're trying to do yeah for Australia for example try to get like a service job uh, from abroad oh really service job uh, you have to jump through flaming hoops but if you want to do agricultural work like farm labor uh, they salivate at the mouth just to get you over and working ASP I can't see making too much money working as a, as a laborer in the agriculture industry really that uh, in general is why a lot of the corporation of the agriculture industry promotes bringing a mass migration because they get cheap labor right that's that would be my guess I don't know what it's like in uh, Australia though I got the windows and the skylights and the doors closed in this, in this sunroom so slowly the temperature is kicking up it's a good thing I wore a tank top it's getting hot in here I like it warms you from the inside sure low pay but maybe you just want to go and visit us yeah true that and you can also hook up and uh, if you want to do that as well there's uh, what's that called where local uh, local farms uh, mom and pop shop farms there's a website I forget what it's called uh, there's a term for this thing where they post jobs that you can go live on the farm 
they don't pay you but they give you room and board and you do a certain amount of hours a day and you can live there work there uh, for as long as you want you might actually make a little bit of money too and you can make your way across the country hitting up these local farms it's called uh, I did a CSA a set of CSA videos on on uh, mathematics of food and farming and we talked about it there I just forget what the terminology is for it and I think I linked up uh, uh, in one of the videos I have a link going to those resources uh, yeah our taxes all come out with our wage without us doing anything which is nice because it's so nice getting a letter one day saying you're owed 500 pounds rebate due to their mess ups haha <laughs> yeah unless they messed up in the other direction they send you a letter saying you owe them 500 pounds right not that it's, it lasts long but for that time it's great huh yeah my sister moved uh, moved to Oz uh, six years ago just bought her house in Sydney house in Sydney Dan Wong presents so Sydney is like Vancouver now eh? insane insane money laundering machine yeah she has a good job and married a local cool currently specialized towards oil and gas engineering thinking those countries might have some more rural and therefore affordable places to live that future jobs in this field thanks for the feedback guys uh, our pleasure tank um i know canada when the oil sands were booming or pretending to be booming right when it was like mass like basically it was a gold rush everyone was trying to set up shop in the oil sands in alberta right um the job market was you could apply get a job amazing pay right uh the work was crap uh horrendous areas uh not good for your health and stuff but you made mint money but now it's dropped down a lot right so i don't know how it's like in canada in the oil sand specifically jamie how are you doing hey chicho just started watching your channel love what you're doing thanks man love doing what i'm doing very much enjoyed very much enjoyed jamie glad you're enjoying it as well just thinking about it twitch would be a great way to launch your money actually chicho you interested in a cool job opportunity <laughs> no no you don't man here's a thing here's a thing if you're not looking into becoming a multi-millionaire right away speedy gonzalez style or billionaire right and you have certain amount of morals dignity passions hobbies loves in terms of your surroundings people if you love social human interaction on uh, on more than just a superficial level the system that we have in Canada United States anyway is set up where you don't need to launder money it's set up for people to be able to take their salaries and start up a company maybe an incorporated company sole proprietorship initially preferably sole proprietorship in canada i don't know what it's called in the united states where you can set something up where basically the name of the game is this let's say you make this much on your salary and you get taxed on all of this right and the tax system is a way that's set up in certain brackets right so there's so there's you know this tax bracket 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 it keeps on going higher right and the higher tax bracket you go the more taxes you have to pay so the system in Canada and the United States is set up is like this let's say you're making this salary right for your labor let's say you have a hobby that you spend a fair bit of time on you spend a fair bit of money on and you know there's an industry in it because you spend money on it right and let's assume your hobbies got out of hand a little bit or you're interested in spending more time in that hobby what you can do is form a company okay where you live in Canada I know you can do this 
right? And this isn't illegal. This is this is on the books. This is what you need to do, right? This is what Canada's prime minister, at, before that being a finance minister, told people to do because that was the driving force of our current economic system, small business, right? So you're making this much salary. Take your hobby, form a company. Initially, let's assume this is on the same level, right? Initially, you're not gonna be making money. You're gonna be spending money. So this is negative, right? So this is zero. This is you making salary. This is you spending money on a hobby that you think you can start making money on, right? What happens is you can take this amount, subtract it from your salary you're making and write it off. Probably not all of it, but at least a third of it, most likely 75% of it, right? Write it off against your business, right? Your hobby that has now turned into your business. And that's expenses on you, right? All of a sudden, on the books, you're no longer this tax bracket, you're this tax bracket. So on this amount, the difference, all the taxes that you paid on that, you get back. That's a third. So let's assume that was $10,000. Right away, you get $3,000 back. And now that you're in this tax bracket, not this tax bracket, this is a lower tax bracket. So on that total amount, the taxes that they calculated, that they charge you, that they took from you, has to be less. So let's say on, on this amount, you were paying 25% tax, and on this amount, you were only supposed to pay 20% tax. So on this amount, you get another 5% back, whatever it was, right? That's what, what our current economic system is set up on. Everybody who's working salary, who has passions, love, hobbies, things they've wanted to do to try to start their own business and stuff like this, in my opinion, should be doing that, right? As long as you want to do it, as long as you have the passion to do it. It's not easy, okay? But if it's a hobby that you love, it's something that you love spending time on, then that money difference might be worth looking into. I'm just gonna read a couple more things. Was having a, dis a discussion with the wife about living in another country and Canada came up. Nothing in particular made me think of Canada. Maybe it's the law surrounding certain herb. <laughs> That's a huge plus in my book. <laughs> so I was laughing. Legally, Chicho has to answer no. <laughs> Talk about money uh, twitching laundry. Look at those uh, gamer streamers. They rake millions a year just filming themselves gaming. Uh, Surura, there's only a handful of them that make millions, right? Or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands. The huge chunk make chunk change, okay? The huge chunk are doing it for the passion, right? Some of them are doing it to chase the dream of making tens of thousands or thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions. If it happens, happens. For example, all those gaming streamers, if they have a salary, right? If they're working somewhere where they're bringing in money, right? Then they should be writing off a certain amount of the space that they occupy, either through rent or paying mortgage. They should be writing off their computer, their games, fantastic chairs to sit on, mics, cameras whatever else gadgets they need they should be writing that stuff off against their salaries i doubt very few of them do that means they haven't figured out what business is right what it means to be making thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of millions right that's something that people have to think about teachers should play a game and stream it i will at some point i will at some point Go gangsta. I'm from the DC area and work remotely and I've considered moving to Montreal for a short period of time and working from over there. Canada is a lovely place. Yeah. Twitch and Jason, Montreal, I highly recommend. 
if you if anybody wants to ever live in a vibrant lively fun city I would I would recommend Montreal not in the winter unless you can handle the cold okay I follow a guy who does travel videos he goes everywhere in London in London New York and even China must be making good money to do that possibly or sponsorship as well ah, that's good money I guess spider how are you doing hey Chicho I can only pop in for a second I'm currently on break at work hope you're doing great they're doing fantastic brother got the tank top out sunny streaming drinking matcha and tea uh, they're having a fantastic time I loaded up a video today been putting stuff on eBay going through comic books and just catching up on news and doing mathematics and work man can't complain can't complain I hope you are also having a fantastic day Matt Jolly, I travel a lot since I can fly for free nice but getting paid to do it too good oh dude if you can do that fantastic if if when I was doing geophysics I did geophysics for a 10 year period if the gadgets and the technology and the platforms were around when I was doing geophysics in the 1990s traveling to these crazy remote areas and doing crazy remote types of work doing seismic work or got double barrel shotgun <laughs> doing a drill into the ground got a double barrel shotgun with blanks nozzled down into the ground with a string hooked up to a sort of a tripod thing something not on a tripod just just sitting there just hanging there with a the string going boom and then pulling the trigger just explosion happening right or using quarter sticks of dynamite and burying them fuses and going pulling the trigger and go, boom. man I would have been making crazy videos similar principles apply in the US I believe I have a bit of passion for photo video I actually should have followed these ideas before all that I've spent on gear yeah teaching Jason in Canada um, I think they give you like four years that you can go back and write things off you should look into it in the States okay I would love to move to Canada I mu must look uh, look into it cool. let's do it uh, can make a base of Chichoinians <laughs> for your information I have to go audio only to avoid lag oh really more is anybody else having lag problems gang that's unfortunate let's see I could do a little test I did a test and my connection was supposed to be super strong but one thing I have done is when and got 40 feet 40 meters 40 meters no 40 feet of coaxial cable and I've hooked on directly uh, through land I'm not uh, what do you call it uh, it's not wireless uh, hooked up directly uh, to the modem so that was supposed to be the best uh, that was the best connection I could get in this zone and I'm gonna try to maintain that uh, so let me know if anybody else is having any issues no stream issues thanks for the heads up no nope, no buffer or issues at this no lag here okay no lag so Martin it looks like uh, it might be from your end thanks for the heads up brother I appreciate it I know I've done some of these where the have to cut off and I keep on talking and I'm like oh man we lost it how is that a name on twitch <laughs> this guy <laughs> who is this guy <laughs> oh man I'm gonna ban this guy straight out did someone ban him already one ban him already I'm gonna ban you just because of your name that's a nasty ass name man ban boink sorry buddy you gotta go neighbor playing call of duty it's comfy wow. oh community wi-fi call of duty yeah uh, if they're using it streaming is uh, still a risky thing to have solely yeah for four years you can make a lot of money but the next thing comes along and people move on yeah you gotta that's why 
uh, if people, that's what I'm, one thing I mentioned, if you want to become financially independent, you need to invest. It's not enough to have a source of income coming in, right? You need to invest a certain amount of your funds into things that you understand or things that you trust, places that you trust to have build up a nest egg. And that nest egg has to be more than one type of nest egg and nest egg, right? It can't be just in Wall Street. It can't be just in your house. It can't be just in these things. It's gotta be multiple places, okay? Uh, got to be switched on 100% uh, of the time and following the trends to keep that sustainability possibly. Uh, Silva, one thing I can tell you is people were telling me this, exactly what you're saying when I started loading videos on YouTube. They're like, Chicho, you're crazy. You're spending all this time and you're not making any money. Why are you doing this? this you, you just imagine you could have made all this money and bought a house and invested and look at the waste of time you're doing. My reply to them is, man, yeah, I'm not making any money right now, but I love what I'm doing. It's very important to me. It's good for our society. And if you do the calculus, look into the time, this is where it's at right so i've been at this for 13 years people are like oh my god you've been doing what for there i'm still here doing it right and i'm still loving it and i'll be here for another 13 years as long as we don't get completely knocked off right i actually visited montreal last winter for the sole purpose of experiencing the winter i was also there last fall and everyone told me i should come back to experience the cold is otherworldly that's one way of putting it rare popo how are you doing rare popo how's life spider thanks chicho you always make my day a lot better sounds like you're uh, putting lots of work uh, today yeah for the last uh, few days i've been going ballistic man i'm loving it i got just boost of major energy so i'm just i think cleaning does that and creating new spaces sort of modifying our spaces right super interesting topic about the taxes of hobby business i need to look into this now nah, mickey says me and my wife are thinking of doing graphic novels uh together she's an amazing artist and i would do the, dude nikki look into it and man you could write off so much high-end computers high-end video audio equipment if you if you can afford it obviously right you can release your graphic novel one page at a time on your blog. You can write off blog hosting, uh, your own time. You could, if you're, you're, you're doing your own graphic designing, hire yourself out. If you have family members, kids that want to get into graphic designing, you could hire them, pay them instead of paying them a, uh, what do you call it? An allowance. Tell them, this is the job you have. This is your first work you're going to do. I need this thing done and write that you could do so much and the system is set up for it brother but we live in sweden so i don't know if this applies here maybe uh, my guess is in the western world they all have something like this set up so so you can do it big c you have to register a business though you you have to in canada i'll, I'll let you guys know what you have to do in canada in canada you have to search for a business name okay and usually in your search it costs like eighty dollars or sixty dollars or hundred dollars i don't know what it is now right i've done this multiple times over the years but i haven't done for a very very long time right it costs you a certain amount of money let's say a hundred dollars to do a certain name search usually you can do a research to see if the name is available or not and they give you three picks in canada right one of them should work unless you haven't done any research just throwing darts at the board blind right you register your name and then you have to decide what type of business you want to have there's something called sole proprietorship where there's differences between them sole proprietorship incorporated uh, you can create a commons and this and that there's different versions right the most basic one is creative uh, sole proprietorship where you're not incorporating so you're liable right people if they sue your your work 
they're suing you personally so you're not protected from lawsuits right so don't do anything ridiculous run a business where you could get your ass sued off and you lose everything you have right if there's a probability of being sued then you form an incorporation and the incorporation limited incorporated whatever it is once you form that corporation then that corporation is the buffer between your assets in the corporation and your personal assets okay now be careful with that that's a lot more work and you can't write off your salary as simply you have to actually lend money to the corporation and stuff i wouldn't recommend doing a corporation right away mercenary hi how are you doing welcome to his live stream watch out for creative differences when it's with your spouse as <laughs> yeah no lag here nope 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 okay we cut off to there chicho do you uh do you do all these videos live streams and math teachings how do you have enough time in a day to do all this uh i wake up 5 30 i go to bed at 11 12 i can be very focused when i work i love what i do i take long breaks i've been at this for a long time i have so much stuff laid out to do that there's videos out there that i can just flip to my notebooks and i don't have to do any planning right it's all laid out for me i just have to set up the scene and do so it's not something that i've gotten into in the last couple of years right i've been at this for 13 years 13 years creating videos and before that you know i've had three corporations sole proprietorships i've run ran businesses and managed people and stuff it's just skills i picked up along the way okay some of them cost me a lot of money some of them i got paid a lot for right so it is what it is he used the power of math to get more time out of each day uh 100 that too right right optimization yeah coaxial why land for streaming coaxial greater than why land for streaming yeah <laughs> figure that one out after a few months <laughs> probably my neighbor playing call of the oh yeah that's call of duty dante how are you doing how's life comedian wi-fi mankas hello bitcoin drop coin trump shill <laughs> shill bitcoin howdy just you taking your advice and investing in magic cards why not some some of those magic cards go for a fair bit of coin right who would have thought buying uh, optimus prime in the 1980s and not opening the box at the time they were expensive right uh, the higher end transformers were costing people like 80 100 dollars 90 75 dollars 80 60 70 dollars for a transformer like the big ones right buy an optimus Prime in the 1980s in a box not opening it and then 20 years later it'd be worth ten thousand dollars plus right so just imagine you deciding to do this back in the 80s right and start buying this stuff designate a room in your house as storage space so if you're paying mortgage the square footage of that storage space you can write off against this business that you've set up that you have in mind all the toys that you're buying your collection that you're buying you could write off against your salary and if the government comes after your ass all you have to do is say hey this is a legitimate business look into the collecting industry these are collectibles right if they really come after you then all you have to do is just set up a page and at that time I guess just to classify it as and sell a couple of your assets right and say this is my business maybe I'm not a good business person but you can't penalize me for not being a good business person I'm trying right it's just a machine learn how to work this machine right got to get cards works the same way by the way comic books works the same way got to get those uh, black lotus <laughs> yeah those are black lotus. I think those are for credit card stuff da, 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 da. Uh, where are we da. I want to try streaming I am broke oh, is that 
Rati, I have some equipment, then that is the issue. Save your money. It, running a business is also one of the good things to do. It teaches you is, it teaches you to save money for stuff that you need to get, okay? So save your money, get yourself to a place where you can try it out, see what happens. Worst case scenario, you learn how to do something and you're doing something you love. It's not such a bad idea, actually. If you're the sort to hit up garage sales because you can sometimes come across parents selling off their adult kids crap and you'll find a magic card collection of some amazing pulls, yeah. Garage sales, yeah, for magic cars, garage sales are amazing if they have them. Cool, I'll look into it. <laughs> it's not like baseball cards. Most people don't understand the value of magic cards, yeah. I follow Gravy. He told me about it. Dante for me. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dante. Automod is weird. Automod is weird. However, to be fair, magic has only been around for like 30 years. By no means is it future proof investing, particularly when you look at current uh, trends of magic. Yeah, agreed on that. You have to do your research. It sounds time for me in three days. It's second time for me in three days regarding that word. Cool. I met Gary last year actually. The dude is awesome. Anyway, I have to go. Sarura, thank you for popping by. Remember, buy Trump coins. <laughs> I don't know how people can function with six hours sleep. I find I need at least eight for my work day. Yeah, there's periods where I, I slept a lot right but i don't know something happened uh, when i started doing geophysics that's when it really happened i guess in the mid early early 1990s where i was functioning on three hours sleep processing it. i was loving it right and then i would take serious times off hey mods does chicha look at chat yes i do oops he does yeah for sure still struggling with my sleep problem but otherwise okay Got to hit the day. Hey, brother. Nikki, hope you have fantastic dreams. Gonna hit you with some money for 13 more years of Chicho. Please, thanks, brother. I'll be here. I'll be here. <laughs> what would you recommend someone who is in their 20s, who's just graduated uni, start to do to become more financially independent and grow their finances? Uh, Jamie, first order of business, get debt free. Pay off your debt as fast as you can, right? That being said, start looking into investments. Do the research. It doesn't mean you have to put money in right now. Just start following certain things that you're interested in. So first order of business is pay off your debt. Second, I'll put all three of them on the same level, right? So three things you should be doing. Pay off your debt, okay? Eat healthy. Eat healthy healthy eat healthy eat healthy really okay the main reason that people have financial issues is because of health issues so eat healthy exercise be healthy okay the third thing you should do is looking look into different types of investment opportunities doesn't mean you should participate just look into them maybe track them to see what they do start looking at the mathematics of it at the graph right and obviously that means you need to learn mathematics you need to know math okay do that aside from that make a to-do list we got a video out there just do chicho to-do list make a to-do list start knocking things off that you need to do right we sleep too much it's the dreaming we don't do enough ah martin fantastic point fantastic point and by the way i'll mention this right right now since martin brought it up one of the things that allowed me to function in this state is ex i explored the realm of dreams through entheogens and that allowed me to instantly to kick into dream mode uh, well I'll, I'll talk about this a lot more in the future Okay, once we establish ourselves on some platforms, that way we don't won't get knocked off on the other platforms. Okay. Same. Just home. What?
what's up chicho nicholas how are you doing how's life hour and eight minutes we've been going for hope you're doing well nicholas you just got home you're eight hours seven hours ahead so you're like nine ten o'clock at night damn do you listen to dave ramsey dave ramsey dave ramsey that name's so familiar or have you heard of his health building principles or has anybody in chat dave ramsey is that the guy who does the cold water and the breathing stuff i'm just gonna look this guy up dave ramsey dave ramsey i need to see the guy's face Uh, no, I haven't followed Dave Ramsey. The name's familiar though, but I don't know Dave Ramsey. Have you ever had any problems with Twitch? Uh, have I? Uh, no, not yet. However, uh, about four weeks ago, I had someone from Twitch contact me saying that so it's 10, 20, uh, 10, 10 right now where you are, Martin. Okay, cool. Uh, I had someone contact me from Twitch last month and they sent me a nice message saying, we've noticed that you're doing political videos and stuff like this and we're curious. Uh, we're looking into expanding the Twitch platform uh, beyond gaming and we're interested to have a chat with you, to have a talk with you. Okay. Now, I mentioned this and some people said, Oh, they're looking to see if you're pushing fanaticism or you're this leaning this way, leaning that way, so they can censor you and stuff. Some people said, great, they are looking down. For me, I take everything as being benign right off the bat initially, right? My conspiracy mind doesn't kick in. I've learned not to do that right away, right? Uh, so I contacted them and said, you know, sure, I'll gladly chat and stuff like this. Uh, and we tried to hook up because they were in London and I'm in West Coast of Canada, there was eight hours difference. Now, when they contacted me was during the time when my students had final exams. So my students takes first priority that I'm teaching. That's my first commitment, aside from family and friends and stuff like this, right? And same commitment, really. My students are really important to me. So we tried to hook up, but every time he was giving me a time is when I was doing stuff with my students. So I wasn't gonna sacrifice my students for someone at Twitch want to talk to me. I don't care if they're the CEO or they're a lower level person, right? It's not gonna happen. My students come first, right? So um, we weren't able to hook up. I gave them certain times and they didn't, you know, they tried, they said, oh, we'll try this and that, that, that. And they said, this time, I said, no, it's those times. And we weren't able to hook up. So I haven't had any problems with Twitch yet. Hopefully we won't, okay? I, ho I hope we won't. Because I like this platform. Wealth building. His whole thing is based around getting debt free. Yeah, debt free is really important. Once you're debt free and you got a savings, uh, you're buying yourself freedom. I am well, bro, Nicholas says. Just working with my wages for this month as there's a lot of unexpected bills this month to pay. No kidding, Nicholas, you took off for like, you're on vacation for two months, three months? That was a great vacation, great way to spend money, man. After that, where you calling fun shall be with you so we can see another haul. Yeah, right now, I'm not buying anything. Uh, as you know, I'm on budget. <laughs> Rare popo. Uh, big smiles. Twitter is the evil platform. Twitter is the evil platform. Thanks, Chicho. I will look more into your personal finance playlist as well as your mathematics videos. Okay, Jamie, I hope you find them useful. And if you have any questions, just post a comment. I'll try to answer. I, and keep in mind, there's a work in progress. There's a lot more stuff coming. If you look up Dave Ramsey baby steps, there are seven steps outlined, which are pretty uh, foundational. Save a small nest egg, uh, get debt free, pay off mortgage, yeah. Pay off mortgage should be debt, uh, getting debt free and stuff. And if he doesn't ha have eat healthy, be healthy in there, he's missing out on the main one. No matter what list you look at, number one priority should be remain healthy, be healthy. 
<laughs> like, I can't even explain it, say it simpler than that, right? Eat well, exercise. Second should be build your networks, your connections, spend time. Uh, because with it takes energy to keep good friends, to stay connected with family and stuff. Do that as well. That's important. That's your safety net. But it's good stuff. I normally point friends his way when the topic of personal finance or wealth building ever comes up. I prefer Golden Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Was this that person I'm thinking of? Who's Gordon Ramsay? Do I have to look this up? Rare I'm gonna look up Gordon Gordon Ramsay. Who's Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Who's Gordon Ramsay? Duck Duck Go, can you find it for me? Oh, is that the chef? Oh yeah, yeah, he's the chef, dude. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Rare popo. Anyways, sorry for filling up chat. No, twitching Jason. No worries. I'll pop off my soapbox. No, it's cool. It's discussion finance. The breakup is what prompted a week's break into three months. Yeah. And that's a great way to deal with a breakup, which is fantastic, right? <laughs> Am I a wizard? <laughs> I don't know. Some of the some of the entities I've encountered in the realm of entheogens uh, would say I I was leaning in that direction. Absolutely, <laughs> Twitching Jason loves the Gordon Ramsay. You show no pass. Not. T -t -t -t. I prefer watching uh, out of content streamers watch Gordon Ramsay on YouTube. Gordon Ramsay is a famous chef. He's fantastic. Cool. Chicho is saying to eat healthy as I'm eating a giant cake. <laughs> I eat cakes. I feel like I betrayed. No, Arkansas. I eat cakes, I eat pastries, I have a sweet tooth, but I also eat really healthy stuff. I try to, I get exercise, not as much as I should be. I should take, be taking my own advice, but there's nothing wrong with indulging your taste buds, your senses, that's part of being healthy. It's not just uh, satisfying your nutritional needs, it's satisfying your spiritual, your desire, your wants as well, right? But don't become crazy addictive and just eat cake every day. Don't do that. Manage yourself. Manage your addictions. We're, we're, we're human beings. We have addictive, addictive uh, personalities. Manage your addictions. That's one of the things, I guess, that should be in the personal finance stuff as well, right? He's known for yelling at people for how bad they cook. Jeez. Yes, he's the fucking chef. He uses the F word in every sentence. <laughs> Health is major. Back in April, I weighed close to 24 stones. Oh, wow, you got 336 pounds, Nicholas, brother, no. After some great advice from Chicho on health, I've been eating clean and working out daily, and I'm currently down uh, Arku around the 19 stone mark. Uh, with plenty more to go nice 19 stone let's look at the ratio so 19 doop, divided by 24 doop, you're down 20 percent. that's cool man that's awesome nicholas 20 percent drop that's fantastic brother nice 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 nicholas i can take a few stones off you i can't break 13 stone <laughs> if you cook at home instead of eating out you will save money and eat healthier. Yeah, 100%. That's great advice. I should be including that as well. That's one of the reasons we do the cooking live streams, right? Cooking videos, food videos, food playlists, really. Reno Mike, great advice. Anyways, I need to hop off here. Thanks for the fun stream. Time to go prep for the week ahead. Hope everyone has a good one. You too, Twitching Jason. Hope you have a fantastic week and thanks for sticking around. Some. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, <laughs> Nicholas is passing on his stones to Martin. <sighs> Funny. Cab out time. Like, we gotta get the barbecue first. I gotta sell some of these comics, get the money coming in so I can buy a barbecue. That's one place that some of the money is gonna go towards. <laughs> just got the, we just got a new, I should take a picture, a new stand for the computer stand. So I'm not using boxes anymore to set myself up in the, for these live streams. <laughs> We can, I can start getting rid of some of these boxes. There's like a stand here that we have, like a legit stand that costs like over a hundred dollars, right? This is just expenses, daily expenses, right? Thanks, bro. Breathing is so much easier now. Thanks for the healthy recipes and life advice. Uh, my pleasure, Nicholas. And Nicholas, right now, like for me, I feel you. Uh, I've been as high as 225 pounds. And right now, I'm down about 175, right? So there was a period in my life through stress, and just bad habits, and just life. I I was 50, 50 pounds heavier. Just imagine, like <laughs> short of breath and just body ache and slower and needing more sleep and just nostalgic sort of a hazy feel to myself so about 40 pounds uh, I used to be heavier that was a while ago that was over 20 years ago okay uh, it was it was a, for a few years I carried that just after dealing with some stress and stuff in my youth where I didn't know how to deal with things right uh, school system does not prepare you for life that's for sure I will start leaning on people to buy your comics <laughs> thanks martin <laughs> don't lean on him i'm just uh, there's already a couple of bids we have on a couple of the comics and i'm i'm putting the minimum i'm willing to let the comics go for and they're you know that's what it is if they don't sell i might reduce i doubt it some, some of them there's no way i'll reduce it right um and you know someone's contacting me that they want to buy a bunch of them uh so we'll see where it goes right uh, one thing I learned as well for personal finance, uh, make sure you put yourself in a situation where you're not uh, not always in a rush. Don't allow money to uh, kick you into a speed time frame the way the Wall Street and the banking system wants to wants you to want you to exist in. Right, slow down. Ill do a world of good for your finances i flew back from uh, penticton about three weeks ago and my roommate has not cleaned his mess in the kitchen oh my god since i returned it's so hard for me to be able to prepare meals as she never cleans her mess and i refuse to uh, i'm moving into my own place at the end of this month and plan on making much needed changes to my diet and wallet yeah arcanicide i've lived with people that like that through university times and stuff like this so i can stop eating out all the time and spending all my spare money on unhealthy food yeah um, i lived with a person once where during university uh it was a one bedroom apartment i just took over one room and he had the living room and stuff and he did the same thing right and uh, after a while i start closing my door right we were fairly we we're good friends and stuff and i closed my doors and then one day he opened the door and said Chicho, why are you closing your door? I go, dude, you keep dirty plates around. Food just laying around. It stinks. I don't like it. So I've asked you to clean it, and you haven't. And it really is disgusting. So I'm going to close my door until your place smells better. Okay. After a few weeks, he started cleaning his shit up. Batman's junk should sell quickly. <laughs> yeah. Funny. if you learn how to cook good healthy tasty food you won't even want takeout no your body starts craving wholesome food over grease and fat yeah 100 percent, nicholas that's one thing i noticed as well once i started eating healthy like really good and i was brought up with that in, in a big way it's just life weighs you down right and every now and then i would eat some of the things i used to munch on i'm like oof dude disgusting like you feel bad for a whole day the next day you pay the price for it lizard 
quiff. Lizard quiff. Avoid dairy, gluten, soy. We will feel great. You will feel great. Dear streamer, if your smiles could turn into raindrops, I would wish for it to never stop raining so that you have no sadness in your life. The the om omega the fiumgamillion fiumgamillion. Thank you for the lovely poem <laughs> and the love. Thanks for the advice, you and Chad. I'm sick of the free Tommy Robertson campaign. Uh, you know what? He's free, isn't he, Martin? I thought it was free. He is free. Isn't he a member of parliament now? I thought it was a member of parliament. I'm pretty sure it was a member of parliament. Is he in jail yet? Not as far as I know. It hasn't hit my radar. Do they still have free Tommy Robinson? Tommy uh, Robinson stuff? So good. so good didn't he run in the last election and win through the brexit stuff farge got in uh, there was a few uh, why won't you let your son in his like looking inside what why won't you let your son in his like looking inside? i don't know what that means i'm not sure i keep getting emails about it oh martin and emails yeah oh he's gonna serve 10 weeks for contempt of court damn they're gonna throw him in well contempt of court was different but the government was idiotic going after him anyway no he did have he did hand in elections he's behind the outside window isn't he your son no zuki the kid outside my window is your imagination it's your it's the ghost was he over here is he over there bad he did bad in the elections oh he did bad in elections he did run but he did po he did bad oh i'm surprised zako zakoi Zakoi, is that a Japanese name? Zakoi sounds like uh, something from Ichi the Killer or um, what's that guy's name? Uh, major Japanese director and star. He's done so many movies. I've seen Takechi, uh, the guy, uh, not the fat one, the killers, but. Uh, he also had a gaming show, Japanese gaming show. Liberal Democrats did well. Liberal Democrats did well. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait a second. Which one's Farge's party? I don't agree with Robertson on a lot, but he has been handed a death sentence, I believe. Oh really? You think ten weeks he might get taken out, Nicholas? Would love to hear uh, Chas views on it, regardless of their views on Tommy and what he stands for so nicholas you're assuming you're saying that if he goes to jail for 10 weeks he's gonna get taken out i the brexit party oh it is the brexit party yeah that's right he called the brexit party so uh, just regarding Ra robinson the british government if they're foolish enough to put robinson in a place if they put him in a place where he's gonna get shanked where he's gonna get taken out man i i can't even imagine what's gonna happen in the uk he's so outspoken on islam that he believes he will be killed in jail if he does man hold on tight like i can't see them i can't see the british oligarchs the elite allowing that to happen I really can't see it. He has appealed to the US for asylum. He has? No way. I can't believe this is uh, past my radar. Crazy. 
they could definitely put him in a low security prison and put guards all around him and just put him in solitary confinement right separate him from the uh, the remaining of the inmates right like some people said Julian Assange could be threatened but I don't think so Julian Assange won't be taken out yeah Tommy for US citizenship wow 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 I didn't know that he hit my radar I followed the, some of the stuff at the beginning when it was happening and I thought it was ridiculous for the government to do what they did right so as Nicholas said I don't agree with Tommy's stand on things but I disagree with the government making martyrs of people trying to be you know hard-handed uh, when they allow pedophiles to go free look at the BBC right look at Savine Devon, whatever that BBC guy that was one of the most ridiculous absurd disgusting human beings on this planet where the institutions the governments the monarchy and BBC protected him right and then they go after people like Robinson which is ridiculous to me right he was part of the milkshake attack yeah Tommy would make a great US citizen with his views I don't know it depends where you go right depends where he goes there are a lot of American citizens a lot of Americans that have the complete opposite point of uh, view perspective on the world and people like Robinson right? perhaps but he is a uh, uh, majorly hated for his anti-Islam views he has been attacked in public many times so I can understand his fear of any sentence yeah for sure finally caught you live again nice Pyridial, Pyridial, welcome to another live stream. Capital punishment should come back. Ooh, I don't know, Martin. I don't trust the centralized system to make any decisions on the life or death of anyone. We know they've lied. We know they fabricate. We know they've ass killed people, assassinated people, executed people for political gains. No way I agree with a centralized state bring in a death penalty my personal take hey we are not all like Trump no Reno Mike I agree with me Reno Mike huge part of the United States is very much goes against what Robinson stands for right for pedophiles murderers um, here's the kicker murderers uh, I don't believe the state there's been a lot of people they've convicted for murdering someone and then we find out later that they didn't do it the prosecutors fabricated the, they hid evidence from the defense attorneys and then they also the police fabricated evidence so I don't agree with murderers or anything like this with the pedophiles that's one branch that I totally dis disgusted with right the, the winds picking up uh, and stuff like this but there's also been cases where the US government has planted evidence on people's computers, right? If they wanna get them out of the game and saying, oh, they have child whatever, so these people have to go in hiding or they throw them in jail. There's a few people that come to mind regarding that, right? Uh, so, especially recently in the last few years, 10 years or so, one of them was uh, the person, weapons inspector, person uh, uh, Ray, Ray well oh, I forget who he is before the Iraq war right given a three-tier system there are many crimes I feel should have the death sentence but I 100% agree with Chicho I don't trust any government to carry it out yeah I don't many innocent people have been murdered by the state yeah maybe a civilian panel on court cases I don't know I don't know Martin I haven't seen any just system yet and personally I've felt the same way Martin I but as I've gotten older I realized that uh, once if you take a life uh, you, you can never take that back you can never undo that right 
uh, and you have to look into the causes why is something happening like the mass shootings in the united states is a really good example right the mass shootings in the united states huge percentage of the mass shootings in the united states that have taken place are because of pharmaceuticals right so parent takes a kid to the doctor says my kid doesn't do homework my kid's depressed all the time my kid's violent my kid does this and the doctor says oh he's got chemical imbalance give him these, these pills right now they don't look into that and say oh maybe the school system sucks he's being bullied he hates his community he's been abused when he was a kid they don't they don't look into that stuff right they give him a pill and then these pills are ridiculously strong and it does something to the psyche and the person goes plans out a mass shooting there are so many cases like this right so should those people be executed I don't know man I don't think so it's pharmaceuticals right the doctors should be held accountable the parents should be held accountable the kid has to be looked into the guys traumatized and probably out of commission for the rest of his life and there should be some kind of punishment for that but are they responsible because their parents gave him pills that these stupid doctors told them to do right or they went off the pills they didn't know what the uh, withdrawal symptoms were what are your thoughts on dna with tracking people horrendous <laughs> you know crazy i can't believe people are sending in their dna to a centralized company right to tell them where they're from what their ancestry is first of all for me i am who i am who i am is not based on my dna who i am is based on the choices i've made in life my dna gave me the basis gave me the platform where i could build figure out who i was through experiences and choices and be where i am right now right my dna it wasn't coded in my dna to be on twitch live streaming it wasn't coded in my dna to collect comic books it wasn't coded in my dna well maybe it was to drink black tea right so i think people are crazy instead of working on their personal abilities personal finances their wisdom their health their their spiritual being right instead of working on that they take their dna send it somewhere and they build some kind of imaginary connection to a root place somewhere meanwhile they don't realize that their dna is being used for nefarious reasons i guess right crazy so jury don uh, jury so uh what's it called uh, your peers but a lot of people live in places that they're in small towns specifically that they can't really relate to anyone in that town so are those people their peers that they're going to be judging them when they're, where they don't have any understanding of who these people are we already have that and they're very easily manipulated yeah the kids these days are unpredictable drugs social pressures yeah i agree with that martin the and the societal pressures the economic pressures the political pressures it's crazy the education system all of it goes down to the education system i got into crypto recently especially xp xrp have you looked into it if so what are your thoughts i think it has a lot of potential due to the transaction speed and the company behind it ripple seems uh, to be organized and willing to work with financial institutes. um pi uh, pirate pyrid pyridial uh, there's a lot of hype behind ripple but there's a lot of hype behind a lot of cryptos right uh, I personally uh, would be using cryptos as currency not as a unless I had extra extra money not as a place of store of value right so for me cryptos are to be traded oh, yeah. to be honest I feel some uh, crime should have the death penalty but I don't believe there is a way of carrying it out so I'm not avoiding it 
just when I hear of some crimes, my first thought is the uh, is the predator should uh, should face death. That's all I mean. Not that we actually do it because it would indeed be abused. Yeah. I, Nicholas, there are people uh, that we know in our societies that are the most horrendous criminals, some of the most horrendous criminals in history, right? They're right up there with mass murdering psychopaths and they're running around free uh, deciding how our society should function my personal take they should not be allowed to be around but I'm not willing to do I don't trust anyone else to do uh, Chicho I've got to head out uh, but I had fun hanging out with you today have a good day you too are kind of side hope you had some nice puff puffs or vap vaps that's a central collection system for the government i reckon yeah big time and it's not it's not just they're connecting they're collecting the dna of the people sending in the samples once someone sends in the samples they're also getting the core dna of the family their family members as well because they're connected genetically right For most people, it's just a fun experience, but some people put way too much weight on their ancestry. Yeah, Dante. Like fifth generation Americans calling themselves German without speaking a lick of German or even having been to Germany. <laughs> yeah, that stuff cracks me up. I look like I know people, I'm this. I'm like, dude, what? Like you don't they don't speak the language, they don't eat that food, they don't have any friends from that region, they don't have any friends. That speak the language from that region in their local communities this people try to build connections for some reason to obscure distant things it was weird i remember watching the btk killer trial btk i don't know which one's the btk he uh, described his murderers like uh his was uh, reciting a recipe was that the guy who was uh in Norway that took out a lot of kids that took out dozens of kids was that the guy that guy was not pharmaceutical that guy was just straight up twisted SOB thanks for that wise words something to think about no in US BTK killer um, I don't know which one's the BTK killer I made peace with those uh, the reasons behind these mass shootings Wisconsin I think okay the the reason behind these mass shootings a while ago and pharmaceuticals is the number one cause number one trigger let's put it that way pharmaceuticals is the number one trigger the number one cause is our societies our education system our social structures our economic system right I think the death penalty is letting them off easy they should spend the rest of their lives in jail suffering or be forced to give back to society right do some of the most horrendous jobs in our society Dennis Radar was his name absolutely nor do I as I say it's more a gut reaction when I feel a sickening crime yeah me too and it lasts man nicholas it lasts a while that gut feeling right and i don't even trust myself when i hear read about these situations right that i i tell myself that i'm very happy that i don't have access to that person right but i would never say we should have an actual death penalty as i wouldn't trust any system to carry it out i think it's more just my strong first reaction but agreed with chicho anyway i shall come off the topic so we can discuss other people's comments yeah that i used to be a pro death penalty a long time ago really and then i found out that wow the state has has executed so many people that were innocent so many and then i found out about the legal system and then i found out about the, our policing system and then i started looking at the statistics 
And then I went, I was an idiot, right? I can't believe I supported something that these institutions were using for political gains, right? It just blew me away. I don't believe in punitive justice. Punitive justice, I gotta look that up. Punitive, punitive. Is that that? Where is that? Putting people in jail. I gotta look up a lot of these words. Punitive justice is a theory of justice as holds. Okay, so punitive justice, I'm just gonna read the definition. Uh, uh, oh, retributive. Oh, did you say retributive justice or punitive justice? I read it wrong. Retributive, punitive or retributive? Retributive justice. Retributive, retributive, retributive justice is a theory of justice that holds that the best response to a crime is punishment proportional to the offense inflicted. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. What's punitive justice? Punitive justice. No, I wrote down punitive justice. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different things restorative justice restorative justice okay okay so punitive is retributive okay so punitive is retributive justice okay good to know thanks for that Dante learn a new word every day any reason you should uh, ever lock someone up is to protect society from them not to punish them Dante well said it's when you punish people for punishment's sake it's not much different than retributive okay maybe we should have judges like 2000 AD would say on paperwork uh, Martin I love Judge Dredd I love Judge Dredd right I love the whole concept of Judge Dredd however the counter example to that is this look into kids for cash in the United States what happened with two judges and private prison system that this private prison corporation was paying two judges five thousand dollars a pop to send kids to jail right and they were these judges were operating for a few years and it was revealed that over a few years they had sent like a few thousand kids to jail right and they were collecting five thousand dollars a pop so a few thousand kids multiply that by the average household in the United States let's say four right so 40,000 let's say if there was 4,000 I don't know what the numbers were right or uh, four times the, the, I don't know how many there was okay let's say 10 15 20,000 people's life directly affected M multiply that by their extended family and their friends right more people affected multiply that by the people that they harmed when they came out of these punitive systems right man those two judges that hit that news hit my radar when it was first coming out and i was blogging politics right and my instinctual feeling for those two judges were just give them to me just give them to me right as Nicholas said that was my gut feeling that my god right two judges destroyed tens of thousands of lives for five thousand dollars a pop right those two judges got sent to jail the CEO of the company that was paying them off as far as I know didn't get sent to jail the management of that company didn't get sent to jail as far as I know right this system is corrupt right I don't trust it ever punitive is part of retributive but people often mean the latter fully when they say the former no offense not trying to be uh, pedantic okay cool arf 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 <laughs> thanks for the correction arf punitive is part of retributive okay no. yeah martin look into it i wrote about it i called it at the time when i was blogging it um uh, i 
think the title I gave it is what what would you do to to people that were selling kids for five thousand dollars a pod? It was I was I was trying to hold back on my words even, right? It was crazy. May I ask, do we believe that the majority of criminals can be rehabilitated? Yes, I do. Majority of society, majority of hum humanity is not evil. 99.999% of humanity is good. People want the best for others because that in return means the best for you, right? But through our economic, political system, our social structures, our education system, we put people under so much pressure that they crack. I only, I, Martin, those two judges, oh, those two are on the same level for me as, as some of the political leaders in our societies. Okay, so we would then say some are beyond it. Some are beyond it. Some can't be rehabilitated. I agree. That, I agree there. Anyone can become invested in their community enough to be stable without crime through stewardship. Yeah, our whole system has to change. I agree with our our whole system has to change, from the base down of education to the food supply to housing to healthcare to uh, the structure of our communities. Some people are born evil, but not many, fortunately. Yeah. And some people over time, because they've been abused, they just become nasty. I agree, and I'm going somewhere with this. I just don't want to jump in and assume people's, people's views, so bear with me. Okay, done deal, Nicholas. Lay it out for us. For sure. Two hours almost. Up time. It's so nice and toasty here right now. So nice and toasty here right now. It's so toasty. I haven't even eaten any of my thingamajig. Tahini. Delicious. and then tomorrow what are we doing tomorrow that was a quick tour yeah these streams go by really quick I love them it's super cool having this dialogue it's hard to have this open of a dialogue uh, locally to a certain degree <coughs> fully borrow identities from culture they can't be blamed when they develop a set of behaviors that they don't won't be able to defend if asked directly by someone they want to in, invest with definitely not born evil i think there are some that are there are some that are chemically imbalanced okay let's not call it evil there are some chemically imbalanced things that happen that People don't have the, the, the understanding of right and wrong. They, they, they're born without the empathy needed to exist in our societies. So we can't really call that evil, I guess. You're right about that, Arf. We have to call it imbalance. But then again, we're going down a sort of a darkish path if we have centralization of state because centralization of state can decide what is a chemical imbalance, right? I'm a big Jack the Ripper fan, not for what he did, but uh, who he was. Wow. So you must your, know your uh, Martin. Um, the history of it. Ok, ok, how are you doing? Thanks for popping by. Thanks for stopping by. 
I so for those who can be re rehabilitated given the amount it costs to house prisoners at least here in the UK for a year is around 37,543 pounds what alternative do you feel uh, could be looked at we have to the whole thing is we can't work within the system alternate systems have to be established the first place in my opinion we have to set up these alternate systems or education system because once you set up these alternate alternate education systems these systems where people are truly being held responsible for their own personal choices what they do to learn to grow to acquire tools and powers that they can exist the way they want to exist that's the first place we need to begin and that's going to take a lot of time once we start establishing those there's going to be less and less people going to jail right and what's going to happen is cost per unit to house these house inmates is going to go up because the jail style still have to remain functional and that's going to reach a point where the whole thing's going to collapse right prisons are going to close once prisons start closing then what you're going to do is you're going to have consolidation of inmates into certain prisons and then cost per unit is going to go down hopefully we we'll continue to build our education centers okay and slowly over the next few decades reduce the number of people that you have to lock away from society right there's no magic pill you can call them trump chemically imbalanced from birth are we talking brain the brain damage to a certain degree you can call that i guess some people if they're parents that are alcoholics they're drinking every day even when they're carrying a child right then that can happen sometimes accidents sometimes chemicals in the environment right sometimes it's just a mutation or medic uh, medicated psychosis possibly possibly I'm not a I, I can't make the distinction I don't know enough of that but I know there 100% there are cases where human beings it's just chemically it's imbalanced is it because of brain damage is it due to birth the parents doing something or is it medicated psychosis because there's physical imbalances like psychosis which centralized state centralized state does define through research but there's a ideological imbalance which is fully gathered from culture yeah oh yeah arf that there is a difference between them for sure thanks for pointing that out very important right we're not talking about i'm not talking about the the problem is a centralized state starts enforcing ideologies right without the science to back it up and unfortunately politics has entered and economics has entered the realm of science it always has really so we can't just make decisions based on science either there's got to be a fine balance between things but ideology should never be used to criminalize people i have a degree in psychology so I know a lot about serial killers oh that's why Martin that's why oh that's why you the death penalty right that's a dark place to man I I was fascinated by that stuff when I was younger but I pulled away it got too dark for me oh so you're talking about people who literally can consent to the identity they develop surely that's not a pro a propose to discussing improving education as a solution then uh, i think it is i think through education we can deal with most of the problems in our societies really i i've seen it i've done it the, the i've had a lot of different types of students people i've dealt with and just introducing a lot of a lot of love a lot of caring listening to people it changes their behavior i i don't have a hundred percent success rate i don't i'm at like 95 percent, which is damn good right but i've seen people change their lives i do some uh, therapy work and i have a weird fascination with uh, genuine psychopaths 
I have this desire to understand their motives and my, what makes them tick so I'm kind of with you Martin yeah I I stopped being interested in that uh, Nicholas and Martin I just uh, I don't want to understand it uh, to a certain degree I just want to know what helps it and I know the part of uh, trying to get them trying to understand what helps them what helps to helps out the situation is understanding them but it's not a place I want to be we can have unbiased policies so I don't think ideology is necessary for politics we can definitely only use science people just have to move uh, the discussion uh, that way for voting to go that way Arf, I agree with you but we're coming at a time I mean just imagine majority of the world right now still under the dark umbrella of America's war on drugs and that is just pure ideology economics right there is no scientific basis behind it however there were a lot of scientists that wrote papers saying that cannabis is wrong that this was wrong that opiates are all of this stuff right so we can't just rely on one thing we have to we have to root out corruption uh, in, in a huge way okay I'm off Chicho thanks thanks for hanging around uh, Reno we do have to take off soon uh, we're gonna end the stream soon as well so thanks for thanks for sticking around I've never been that interested in serial killers multiple personality disorders create the worst killers I watch some of the documentaries it's interesting but some people are so obsessed with it Dante says so you're concerned with how people with brain damages are handled in the individual that's very fascinating but I can't imagine it's a large enough percentage to base full systematic changes on we make a lot of disabled services available and could improve them uh, I, I don't think it's some of the uh, it you want to call them brain damage chemical imbalance whatever you want to call them some of those people I don't think outwardly they show those signs inver inward inwardly they're that way outwardly they've learned to put on this image of this person right uh, that's as far as I've gone beyond that it gets dark man I used to be into that stuff when I was younger the a lot of brutal movies and documentaries and stuff but I just acknowledge that some people don't think like I do don't care about people like I do for whatever biological and environmental reasons I'm with Dante that's the simplest way to go to a certain degree some people are genuinely beyond help because they don't want it or feel they need it my work would deal with more young offenders yeah and one thing Nicholas I'll add to that some people don't think they deserve it right some people have reached a point that they are the way they are because they don't think they deserve a second chance they don't deserve things I don't know what category they belong to oh sure the war on drugs has been a huge distraction every counterculture movement and the proposed mainstream response like drugs have been a distraction from academic policy and ontology centered approaches to discipline and coverage of domains in the news okay gang let's call the stream okay let's call the stream I am so toasty here in our sunroom thanks for the discussion Arf thank you for uh, the feedback as well uh, nice nice topics Martin Dante thank you for for sticking around taking care of some business Nicholas nice to see you brother nice to see you and everyone else for those that are followed subbed thanks for the follows and subs everyone very true especially a lot of the kids I work with but I can't really say any more than that for job reasons thanks Chicho thanks chat in my work life I see some real real crazy people looking in their eyes and they're blank yeah hanging around bars Martin that's where I saw a lot of darkness when I was hanging when I was doing uh, my rounds a lot of darkness have a wonderful evening Chicho you too are truths thanks for an awesome stream a lot to think about but need to read comics 
first and relax my brain till your next one bye my friend bye guys i can only hope we all find a way to help yeah our that's the best we can do that's the best we can do and slowly nudge ourselves to where we want to be be safe martin be safe you be safe for sure your work is in an interesting place is an interesting place so tomorrow gang if you can make it 5 p.m and 5 p.m pdt my time and what are we talking about tomorrow our live stream is on is on is on is on is on what is it on open discussion on relationships the do's and don'ts of human interaction nice nice we covered that somewhat today right keep a strong spine yeah thanks for the stream thanks guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m if you can make it if not in the next set of live streams or in the next video we load on but shoot or youtube bye for now have a safe sunday gang <laughs> nice nicholas <laughs> see you guys tomorrow bye for now <laughs>